I got quite a bit of reaction to my last video on depression, which is actually hardly surprising given that research indicates that one in five people will suffer from depression at some point during their adult lives. Indeed as well, the videos that I've made in the past on depression that I have on YouTube are the videos that are most hit and most commented upon. Most of the reaction I got last week was, thank you very much for explaining, that I am the cause of my depression, but the great news is I am the solution to my depression too. And that was the basic message of that video. Uh, there was an accompanying article with that video that was posted on a number of websites around the world and I got one comment that said, the writer has never suffered from depression so he cannot comment. Now the first point I'd make in relation to that is that if for some reason, at some point in the future, you say go for a medical examination and it is discovered that you need, say, your gallbladder removed, you better make sure in advance of surgery to check that the surgeon had removed his own gallbladder in advance. That's the ridiculous nature of that comment uh, because I know plenty of psychologists, plenty of psychiatrists who have suffered from depression but I know plenty who haven't suffered from depression too and whether I've suffered from depression or not or whether I've overcome it or not is none of anybody's business. But we all have our low days and I suspect at some point along the way I have suffered from depression. I just haven't been silly enough to go along to a doctor and say, I'm feeling down, give me some pills to pop. Because pills, as I said last week, actually deal with the symptoms of depression, not the cause. The comment that I really want to come around to, though, uh, the piece of reaction that I got last week was from somebody who works in healthcare who said that was a wonderful video on depression, but depression is a complicated thing and everybody has their own individual story in relation to depression. That indeed was the point of my video and article last week. We all do have our individual story of depression because depression isn't something you catch. Depression isn't an illness. It isn't something that you pick up from drinking dirty water. Depression is something that is born out of a root cause that is unique to you. And that root cause can be minor, you may not even know what it is, or that root cause can be major. I worked with a client a number of years ago who on the very first day I spent with him told me that when he was six or seven years of age he came in home from school one evening to find his father literally beating the living daylights out of his mother with the butt end of a shotgun. A couple of weeks later, things improved in the household, and I'm being facetious because he came in from school and found his father sitting at the range in the kitchen with the same shotgun, this time pointed in his mouth, intending to commit suicide. He didn't, he was just looking for attention. Things got so bad at home that my client, at the age of eight, was sent off to boarding school. And on the first Friday that he was in boarding school, one of his teachers, one of the priests, said to him, every Friday evening I'd like you to come up to my bedroom and bring all your schoolmates' copy books so I can correct their homework for the week. And you can imagine what happened in that priest's bedroom every Friday night for three years in a row. This guy had major issues. Major issues in his adult life because basically at three o'clock in the morning on our first meeting, we'd been at it for about probably about 15 hours at the time with a couple of breaks. He told me, he said, I have dreadful behavioral problems as an adult. He said, I go out at night, I look for the, and I'm quoting, the ugliest woman in a bar and I take her out to the back seat of the car. I go home, get into bed, and I tell my wife what I've done. And my wife gives me a big hug. Now, that's a serious behavioral problem. He knew the cause of the problem. He'd been treated for it psychiatrically. He'd been given drugs for it. 
But after a couple of days of understanding how the subconscious mind works and how if you get into a clear state of mind and get back into your subconscious mind, you can actually rearrange the deck chairs in that subconscious mind. You can actually take away the power that those memories have over you. You can't take away the memory, but you can take away the power that the memory wields over you. Then, suddenly, you are in a position to deal with the root cause of what is ruining your life. Call it depression, call it a major behavioural problem. He was certainly very depressed over his major behavioural problem. And this emphasises the point I was making in the last video, and it's a very important point. I'll say it again, because a lot of people don't listen. A lot of people in the medical profession don't listen. Depression is not something that you pick up. Even clinical depression, even chemical depression, I mean, after all, if the body is one whole mechanism, and I, if I look at the way Chinese medicine deals with things, if I can actually uh, have a psychological influence over my physical health and well-being, then I have a psychological influence over the chemicals that my brain releases and the measure in which those chemicals are released. My mind and what is in my mind is the root cause of any problems that I might have health-wise and psychologically. And my mind is also this deep well of inner potential that be can be turned in my favour that can be used to wipe out the power that these negative things might have over me in my adult life. The point I'm making is that you have the power. Whether you're just feeling down, whether you're suffering from depression, or whether I, uh, you're actually suffering from some illness, and I'm going to deal with that in my next video, you have the power. All you have to do and there's enough stuff on this website to enable you to do it. If you're going to be committed to doing it, all you have to do is clear your mind and unleash your inner power. And that is the most important point that I want to make about depression, about feeling down, about stress, and indeed about physical illness too. Have a great week.